Angels and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul video for you all. This haul is from when I went to New York in September. I want to say September but then I got really ill and then I wanted to do loads of like other Diwali tutorials and things like that so I didn't get around to filming it but I am here today. There are a lot of products for me to show you guys but first of all I want to show you all my amazing jumper and it is this jumper right here. It's got Barbie written on it. It's from New Look and I have been living in it recently so I just want to show you all that. I am gonna crack on with this haul. If you guys have watched any of my videos before you will know that I like to get myself a perfume whenever I travel just because when I wear that perfume again it will remind me of that trip and where I've gone. So on the way to New York I end up getting myself this C Giorgio Armani perfume. I have heard so many reviews about this and I was like I'm gonna pick this up and it basically just smells really 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 lovely. It's got a really kind of like rosy kind of undertone to it. If any of you are Indian or have ever been to India you'll know that there's this thing called ban which has been sold on the streets. It's kind of like a mouth freshener and it's got like rose and like all this other stuff in it. Um, it kind of reminds me of that but I really 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 like it. If any of you out there like sweet but musky scents then I would Highly recommend checking this out. So this was the perfume that I got. The first thing that I picked up were some Velour lashes. Um, the ones I picked up were Wispy Me Away, Winging It, no Winging, and this one is Wispy Sweet Nothing. I have heard loads of good things about Velour and I was in Ricky's in New York and I saw these and I was like, oh my god, I'm going to pick some up. I initially only picked two up. But then I went and picked another one up um, just because I really like the quality of these and yeah I have used one of these in a tutorial recently it was the gold Diwali makeup look so if you want to see it in action I will leave a link to it below um, but those were all $30 each so they're quite expensive um, in comparison to other lashes but you get over 25 applications in this and they are very like shebang um, on your eyes so I picked those up um, the next thing I'm going to show you are some more things that I picked up from Ricky's. I got two Morphe palettes. I, again, was only going to pick up one, but then when I saw the other one, I was like, mm, I might as well just pick the other one up. I think these are around $25. I'm not too sure, um, but it's around that mark. The two that I picked up was this kind of neutral palette here and this is the 35N and I used this in my Shea Mitchell inspired makeup look so this has got loads of like browns and purples and like very very neutral shades in here along with a couple of pinks um, and then some really really dark kind of blacks and greys as well. I'm really impressed by the quality of these but the only thing is is they are huge so I feel like I can't really travel with them because they are so big. Um, and then the other palette that I picked up was this one here. This one is the 35E. Um, so every single shade on here has some sort of shimmer going on. The quality of these are brilliant. They are so pigmented. They're so creamy. And it just makes me wish that I got all the Morphe palettes in the world. While I was in Ricky's, I also picked up another black beauty blender. This, as you can tell, I used it today, <laughs> so it's a little bit dirty, um, but my old one, I was trying out like a different soap to clean it with, and basically now there's like soap stuck inside the sponge, and it's really hard, and it, like when you press it, it takes ages for it to like get its shape back. So note to self, never do that again. Um, so I'm really glad that I picked this up, otherwise I would be Beauty Blender less. So that was the other thing that I picked up. The next few products that I'm gonna show you were also from Ricky's and they are all lip products and you guys might see a bit of a theme going on in this video because I basically got way too many lip products for my own good. Um, it is definitely not normal to get this many lipsticks, but because I was there and I'm obsessed with lip products. I was kind of like, if I'm in New York and these are right in front of me, then I need to get them because it's just a sign if they were in stock. So the first lip products that I picked up were a selection of the NYX 
soft matte lip creams and I got five colors. I was actually speaking to the lady at Ricky's because some of these colors are very, very similar. And I was like, do I need all of these? And she was like, well, this one has a different undertone to it. And this one's slightly pink. And so I was like, I'm sold. I need to get them all. So I ended up getting these five colors. So this one's Milan, which is a really nice kind of everyday pinky color. I got London because London is like the nearest city to me. And it's a really nice brown shade. Um, and then I got... Istanbul, which is a very like baby pink shade, which I will probably end up mixing with loads of lip liners. Stockholm, which is like a nude. Um, and then I also got Abu Dhabi because I love the UAE. And again, this is kind of like a brownie shade similar to London, um, but it's a little bit darker. Um, so I wanted it for like kind of this time of the year. I love the formula of these. I think they're so comfortable to wear. Um, their longevity isn't as good as other kind of matte lip products, but I just love just how comfortable they are um, And they're really hard to get a hold of in the UK. So I was like, I'm gonna pick all of you up So those were the lip creams that I got and then I saw that Ricky's actually stock LA girl Cosmetics and I know I've got a couple of their concealers, but I really wanted to try their lip glazes um, so this is the glazed lip paint in the shade, what is this, Peony. Um, again, I used this in a recent tutorial of mine and it is such a beautiful lip, I want to say it's a lipstick, but it's got a very glossy formula to it and I personally am not a fan of glossy lipsticks or lip glosses in general. Um, but I really, really like this. I think it's super comfortable to wear and it's very, very, very pigmented. It reminds me of the Too Faced liquid lipsticks but these were super 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 affordable I want to say these were like three dollars or something which is so cheap which is why I picked up this color just because I think I'll make a lot of use of this in the spring and summertime and it's a really different color and I feel like I don't wear enough corals so I picked that one up and those are all the things that I got from Ricky next I'm going to show you guys what I got from the drugstore and then right at the end I'm going to show you what I got from Sephora so First and foremost, I got some of these Crest 3D white strips. Um, this is the Lux edition, the Lux style. <laughs> I don't really know what to call it. Um, these came in so many different kind of like, I want to say like, I don't know the word, but they just came in so many different names and that did different things and whatever. But this one is Professional Effects Removes 14 Years of Stains. And basically what comes inside are little strips in here which you kind of like stick on your top and bottom teeth. I've only used like four of these only because it makes my teeth ridiculously sensitive after I use these and it basically if I use them during the day then after about a few hours of using them like I feel like I can't even open my mouth because just air will make my teeth hurt. I do love these and I am going to finish these off because they were expensive. I want to say they're around $65 but they do the trick like they really do whiten your teeth and I get a lot of questions about my teeth um, and I just use these and then the 3D white toothpaste that you get as well. I do really like them but I've got to make sure that I use them at night otherwise it makes my teeth really 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 sensitive and it just really hurts. So they're really good and that is what I use on this bad boys. So those were my teeth whitening strips. Next up, I'm going to show you a foundation. I got the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation um, Matte and Poreless. So you guys know that I love the original Fit Me foundation. I think it's probably one of my favourite drugstore foundations out there. Um, but I really wanted to try this Matte and Poreless because I had heard so many amazing things about it on YouTube. So I picked it up. Um, in the shade 220 which is the same shade as the Maybelline Fit Me um, original. For this one I do feel like it is a little bit lighter than the original Fit Me um, but so far so good. I'm really loving the kind of texture of it. It's not so matte that it makes you feel really like dry. It does still kind of like keep your skin quite moisturized if that makes sense because uh, I'm not the biggest fan of matte foundations but I really do like that. So that was the first thing that I picked up and then I picked up some eyeshadow palettes. So the first one I wanted to get 
was this Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. Um, it's got some really, really, really gorgeous kind of earthy tones in here. This is just one of those kind of eyeshadow palettes that I feel like you could wear every single autumn without fail. And the brown side, I think you could just wear all year round, which is great. They are very, very creamy, very, very pigmented. Um, they are very similar to the Morphe eyeshadows in like consistency, um, but I just really liked the kind of small dinky packaging. Uh, it's really good for like traveling, um, and I just thought that I would be able to make a really nice eye look with the green side, especially with Christmas coming up. So that was the first palette that I got, and the next two palettes that I got were simply because I love the original so much, and they are these Maybelline eyeshadow palettes. So this one is the Blush Nudes, and this one is the Smokes palette. These have to be my favourite eyeshadow palettes in like the UK pharmacy drugstore equivalent kind of thing. Um, so the original one I have right here. So this is the original. Um, this is called the Nudes and I've actually used it in a lot of tutorials of mine but as soon as I saw that these were stocked in Dwayne Reed and they actually had these in stock I was like <gasps> give me. Um, so I got this one because ugh, it just reminds me of the Naked 3. Yeah, the Naked 3 palette. It reminds me of that, but the colours just are so beautiful. Like, I feel like I don't even want to use it. And then also the Smokes palette, which is basically like the Naked Smoky palette. I think these colours are amazing, especially if you're a lover of a smoky eye and you're not really into, like, your browns, then this is, like, the perfect, perfect option to go for. Um, but this one is just so pretty because it's rose gold and I just love it. Um, so I ended up picking these two up. Uh, next is a blush. Um, you guys have seen me use this in a lot of tutorials um, and I use it quite a lot daily um, even when I'm not filming and just when I want like a flush of colour on my cheeks and that is this Milani blush here. It is the Romantic Rose Powder Blush 01 and I actually have the same blush in a really really bright pink but I actually prefer this shade more just because it's way more wearable. Um, it's super, super, super pigmented. And it's one of those shades that you can literally wear all year round. And I love blushes like that. Like, I think a lot of the blushes that I use are either coral or these kind of dusty rose shades. I don't really step out of my comfort zone when it comes to blushes. You guys have probably seen that in my videos because I don't really switch up my blushes that often. I'd just rather switch up my lips or my eyes instead, to be quite honest, but I absolutely love this. I feel like I have dented the flower a little bit, but I've been using this like 95% of the time since I got this. So I think it's absolutely amazing and I just love the packaging of it. And I really, 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 really hope that Milani comes to the UK because I think it's a great brand. Um, they have some amazing like lipsticks and eyeshadows and blushes. So if Milani, you're watching this by any chance, please come to the UK. And the next are all lips. No wait, I'm lying. There is a mascara in here. So this is the new Maybelline Push Up Falsies Drama Mascara. I've been wearing this quite a lot actually recently. Um, just because there are some days where I don't want like super glam eyelashes where I'm like layering up loads of mascara. This one I feel like it really like curls and like lifts your eyelashes up um, so it's got that kind of curling effect but it's a very kind of natural everyday mascara for me um, everyone is different because obviously everyone wants different things with their light eyelashes for example I love my glam lashes like I love big eyelashes um, but recently like I haven't been wearing that much makeup to be quite honest and I just love whacking a little bit of this on just so that my eyes look a little bit awake um, and I just love the packaging of it I think it's really really cute um, so I picked that up and then I actually went to New York with Maybelline and they gave me loads of these color blur lipsticks um, I feel like I have every single one and I am so 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 annoyed that these aren't coming to the UK so if anyone is going to the states or if you live in the states or if you've got an auntie or an uncle or a cousin or a friend in america then i would highly recommend for them to pick one or two of these up for you so these are the shades that i have you've got like a mixture of like your deep 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 dark i want to say this is like a burgundy kind of purpley color which is just beautiful all the way to like your bright pink which is this one here but these again are such a comfortable matte lipstick 
I love matte lipsticks, so I'm just going to put it out there that I have a problem. I just love these. I love the formula of them. I love the packaging of them. These, along with the NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams, like, these are just, like, brilliant matte lipsticks. And I want to say a massive thank you to Maybelline for giving them to me when I was at the Maybelline Suite for New York Fashion Week, because they are just awesome. I love them. Actually, let me put a colour on. I'm just going to put it on top of what I've got on right now, just so that you guys can see what it looks like. And it is very matte, um, but it feels like a lip balm, if that makes sense. Oh my god. So, like, so incredibly comfortable to wear on the lips, like, I can't even tell you guys how good they are. So yeah, those are all the things that I got from Dwayne Reed. And the next things that I'm going to show you are all from Sephora. Seeing as we just spoke about lips, I'm going to start off with lips first. Um, you guys know that I love the Sephora liquid lip stains. Um, they're basically just a liquid lipstick. Um, but I picked up these colours. So this one is the shade 06. And then I've got this one here, which is the shade 14, which is a dark plummy purple colour perfect for this time of year and then I also got this shade here which is 13 which is that kind of like more the colour which is like I don't know I just feel like it's my colour and I can wear that all year round regardless of like what is in fashion or whatever so I got those three um just because I love the formula of them I love a matte lipstick um and they're really 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 long lasting as well so they're great for when you're going out somewhere like a party or a wedding or anything like that because you don't have to worry about topping up your lips that's one thing that I prefer you know when you like go out somewhere like the last thing I want to do is keep having to check my lipstick and like reapplying the next lip products that I got were from Bite Cosmetics. So I got these four here. Um, the first one I got is this kind of matte corally shade, which I've just swatched on my hand here. Again, very, very comfortable to wear. I've heard amazing things about Bite Cosmetics in general, specifically their lip products. So I wanted to pick a few of the shades up. And then I got this one here, which is kind of like a deeper, plummier colour. These are a little bit more premium. The packaging feels a lot more premium as well. Um, but then I also did get some of these. So this one is um, another matte one. Oh, actually. So these have got a slightly um, satin finish to it. I've just swatched the other one and I've realised that they are a little bit shiny. So they've got a satin finish. And then this one, which is called Grace, which is this kind of like mauve shade. Um, beautiful. Again, very, 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 very comfortable to wear on the lips. And then I also got this like really, really deep almost like plummy black shade, which is called Truffle. Those were all kind of a bit of an impulse buy, <laughs> just because I saw them and I was like, oh my god, they're so beautiful! Um, so I had to pick some of them up. Um, oh, actually, I've got another one here as well. <laughs> surprise, surprise. This one is a pink. I feel like I don't wear enough pinks, and it's from the same kind of satin finish range. And the good thing about these is you don't have to sharpen them either, so you don't have to worry about taking a sharpener with you everywhere. So yeah, those were the lip products that I got from Sephora. I know they were all impulse buys because I clearly don't need that many lip products in my life, but I just loved the formula of them, I loved the pigmentation of them, and I really wanted to try some Bite lip products. Okay, so we only have four more things left. <laughs> so um, the first thing I wanna show you guys is a facial oil, and if you guys have watched any of my videos since me coming back from New York, you would have seen it in videos where I'm talking about it, um, and that is this Josie Moran facial oil. This is my hands down favourite facial oil of life. It is very expensive, um, but it is a cold pressed pure argan oil, um, and it just does wonders for my skin, it does wonders for, like, you can put it on your cuticles, um, you can put it on burns, you can put it on dry patches all over your body, you can put it in your hair, like, it is, like, a multi-purpose product, and I love it. I specifically only really use it on my face, or I mix it in with a moisturiser or foundation if you really want to, to give it that dew, um, but I do really, really love it. My old one actually spilt. Um, so uh, I did that by accident and I was like, no! Um, so I had to, had to, had to pick one up and this is actually um, one of the larger sizes that you can get. So this is a 50ml bottle. My other one that I had I believe was like 30ml. And the next thing that I really, really, really wanted to pick up was this 
Hangover X Primer by Too Faced and again I've used this in quite a few tutorials of mine. I really 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 like this. I find that my makeup like sticks to it because when you kind of massage it into your skin you have like you feel like it's going a little bit tacky which is really bizarre um, but I really 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 like this. I almost dropped it just then. <laughs> it's got coconut water in it so it keeps your skin hydrated as well so it'd be good for people who have dry skin um, but I just really really like this. I'm gutted that I didn't pick up another one so I got this primer and then again another one which has been featured in a lot of videos of mine it is Champagne Pop um, Highlighter by Becca and Jaclyn Hill and this is probably one of the most beautiful highlighters that I own it's one of those shades that I use quite a lot but I don't want to use up if that makes sense because I don't want it to be ever finished because um, I do have a feeling that it's like a limited edition collaboration but Either way, it's beautiful and I absolutely love it. I basically went to the Becca counter first when I went into Sephora because it was the first thing that I knew I wanted to pick up. And I'm so glad that the Sephora on Broadway in New York had it in stock because it means that I have it in my life. The last thing I want to show you all is a nail polish remover. Um, it is this Sephora Instant Nail Polish Remover for Glitter. I have seen so many people talk about this because basically it's got like a little like rough thing inside in the middle where you put your finger in. It basically helps you get rid of any glitter on your nails so when you put your finger in you scrub it against the um, like gritty pad in there. I've just wanted it for ages and because us lucky people in England don't have a Sephora I had to pick it up when I was in New York so that was the final thing that I picked up and that is the end of this haul. Sorry if it was like a bit of a rambly video, um, but I quite like doing chatty videos like this, but I know some of you guys prefer watching tutorials, so I try and like mix things up and have a bit of everything on my channel. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll leave all my social media links below as always. Um, all of the makeup that I'm wearing on my face will also be listed in the info box below. Uh, but before I blabber on about nothing and everything at the same time, I'm gonna get going and I will see you all in my next video.